it's Morgan and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the finale of season one of the Winchesters. Hey, that's no way to say goodbye. Now if you haven't seen the episode, there will be spoilers in this review, so stop watching if you don't want to be spoiled. So, here's my review for the finale of season one of The Winchesters. Hey, that's no way to say goodbye. I was glad we got to see the moment when John got the letter from his father Henry from Dean. I was also surprised, but also happy, to see Bobby. And when Bobby told Dean that he was going to get the Calvary, I was wondering who was going to be part of the Calvary. It was also really upsetting to find out that Mary decided not to go to college, but she hadn't told John yet. It was good that Ada told Carlos and Latica that the crystal needed part of her soul in order to defeat the Akrita. And I was glad that Carlos told Ada to wait until they needed the crystal before she put part of her soul in it. And when Latica said that they would find a way to save Ada's soul, I was wondering how they were going to do that, but I was hoping that whatever they did, would work. When Joan, who was the Akrita queen, told Mary, John, and Samuel that she threw Dean into a portal and that he wouldn't be able to survive, I had a feeling that Dean was going to be okay. Also, when Joan told Mary, John, and Samuel to join her, it was obvious that they weren't going to. But I was worried about Latica, since the Akrita took over the clubhouse and one of the members of the Akrita possessed her. So I was hoping that Mary, John, Carlos, and Ada would be able to save her. I was obviously glad that Latica was saved, but in order to save her, Ada used the crystal and lost part of her soul. So I was hoping that everyone would find a way to restore it. It also made sense when John told Mary that he wanted her to stay with Latica and Ada while he, Carlos, and Samuel went after Joan since he knew that there was a good chance that whoever went after Joan wouldn't come back. It was also really emotional when Mary was about to tell John that she wasn't going to go to college, but he told her to tell him when he gets back. Even though I was upset when Dean didn't come back, when Mary, Latica, Ada, and Millie tried to bring him back, it did make me really happy to see that they were able to bring the Impala back and decided to go for a drive. Even though 
though they thought that they couldn't bring Dean back because he was dead, I had a feeling that he would end up showing up. And I was right. When Mary was about to run over Joan with the Impala, but then Joan opened up a portal and Mary, the Impala, and Joan went through it, I was wondering how they would get Mary back. But then the portal opened up again and the Impala came back along with Mary and Dean. It wasn't a surprise when Dean told Mary, John, Carlos, Latica, Ada, and Millie that the Akrita was created by Chuck. It also made sense that Joan wasn't able to kill Dean since he's already dead. And it made sense that Dean told Mary and John that he was a hunter like them, but didn't tell them that he was their son, and also gave them a fake name. I was also really happy to see Bobby and Jack. And I also really loved that Dean gave John his hunter's journal and also warned Mary about the yellow-eyed demon and gave her the cult to defend herself. I loved the reveal that this show takes place in a parallel universe and that when Dean was driving around heaven in the series finale of Supernatural, he took a detour through the multiverse to see if he can find a world where his family had a happy ending. And... He found it. It was really great to see Latika and Ada restore Ada's soul, but it was really sad when John told Mary not to say goodbye when she leaves. So I was really happy when Mary came back for John and they left together. It was also really funny when Mary said, driver picks the music, loser shuts his cake hole, because she saw it in Dean's journal. I also loved seeing the different scenes from previous episodes while John and Mary were driving. Now, at the time I'm filming this, it hasn't been confirmed if there'll be a season two or not. And if there is, I definitely plan on watching it. But if there isn't, I think this is a pretty good way for the show to end. Thanks for watching, guys! If you saw the finale of season one of The Winchesters, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. And if you want to see any of my previous reviews for The Winchesters, check out the playlist. And if you want to see any of my future videos, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.